everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to be going over how to study for the ATI TEAS exam. Now this exam is an exam that most nursing schools require students to take prior to admission. It's an academic test that will test you on various subjects, which I'll be going over here in a second. And some nursing schools require this prior to admission and it may decide, depending on your score, if you get into their program. So it's very important that you prep for this exam prior to taking it. So in this video, what I want to cover is I want to cover the subjects that are covered in this exam, how much time you have for each section, and then I'm going to give you tips on how to prep for the TEAS exam. This is things that people who have actually passed this exam with flying colors, how they studied and how they prepared. So if you are going to be taking this exam, this stuff will be helpful for you. So first, let's go over the subjects that are on the TEAS exam. Okay, there's four subjects. You have English, Science, Math, and Reading. And each section has different amount of questions, and it, each section is timed differently. You have a total of three and a half hours to take this with a total of 170 questions. And I've broken it down here. For English, there's 34 questions and you have 34 minutes, so you only have a minute per question. Science, there's 54 questions and you have 66 minutes. Math, 34 questions and 51 minutes. And reading, 48 questions and 58 minutes. And the reason I put this on here, not to bore you, but is that this is really important because one thing that happens on the TEAS exam is that the student didn't really prep for this exam, they didn't practice questions, and they find that they run out of time on the exam. And when you run out of time and you don't answer those questions, it's marked wrong. So that's another reason that students struggle on this exam because they didn't really realize they didn't have that much time. But if you prep for this exam and practice questions, you will help yourself have time to answer these questions. Okay, so let's go over the tips for prepping for this exam. Okay, first, very important, you want to prepare for this exam in advance. Most programs are set up where you have to go and register for the exam and they will post program, nursing programs will post on their websites when these exam dates will be administered by the school and it's usually throughout the year. So you want to be keeping this in the back of your mind if you're, a nur if you're thinking about going to nursing school when you want to register for this exam. And I would give yourself at least one month of prepping for this exam. And the reason is you don't want to cram and spend one or one and a half to two weeks just all you're doing is cramming and trying to study because you're not going to really retain this material because the TEAS exam is about critically thinking and you have to know the material but be able to apply. It's not fact-based material. So you truly have to understand this material. And so what you want to do, register, make sure those spots don't fill up because these spots for these exams fill up fast. And you want to spend at least every day about one and a half to two hours studying. And I'm going to go over how to study, what study guides you need to use here in a second. And take like one day off a week, but stick to the study schedule for one month. And you will get so much accomplished just taking just simply one and a half or two hours out of your day and studying for this exam. Okay, two. You want to purchase the ATI study manual. This manual is sold by the company ATI. You can purchase it through their website or you can purchase it through Amazon.com. Um, always go with the cheapest price. Usually Amazon's a little bit cheaper than the ATI website themselves. And make sure that you get the correct edition because ATI is going to be changing the versions of their tests after August 31st. So. If you are going to be taking the TEAS exam before August 31st, 2016, you need to go with the fifth edition that they sell. Or if you're taking it on August 31st of 2016 or after, you need to get the sixth 
edition because the material will be changing. And on my website, registerednursern.com, I have a picture of what these books look like so you can see what they look like, where you can buy them, and you can access that um, article in the card that should be popping up or the link in the description below. And the reason I recommend this specifically, this ATI study manual, is because this manual is made by the company who develops the exam, who develops the test questions, and the manual is going to contain bold and highlighted areas of things that you need to be studying for the exam that's going to be on the exam. And if you use this study manual correctly, it will help you pass the exam. And here in a second, I'm going to go over how to use the study manual. Okay, next point, point number three. This is totally optional, but I highly recommend that in addition to buying the study manual, that you also purchase the ATI online practice test. And these tests are made to complement the manual. It's set up just like the real ATI exam, which helps with you learning how to space out your time for questions. Because remember at the beginning, I was talking about how students, that one of the reasons they really struggle with this exam is that they lose time and they're not able to answer all the questions. And this is gonna help you pace yourself, learn how to answer these questions within the allotted amount of time. And students who have actually passed this ATI exam and done really well, they purchase and use the online practice test and the study manual together. They very much complement each other. Now, the online practice tests are only sold by ATI. So you would have to go through the company's website to get it. It's atitesting.com. And you can purchase it as a bundle. Sometimes they have it set up where you can buy the study manual and the online practice test. But be sure you check prices because prices are always fluctuating. Sometimes it's cheaper to buy the study manual on oh, Amazon.com and then individually buy the practice test. Um, so just make sure you're researching to making sure you're getting the best deal. Okay, number four, how to use the study manual and the online practice test together. Because remember, they complement each other and they're going to help you study. Very first thing you want to do is you want to take the online practice test first, and there's two versions. There's an A and a B, and you want to look at that and analyze how well you done. Now remember, you can only take each version twice. So you're going to take it at the beginning and then you're going to take it at the end, which I'll talk about that here in a second. And after you take it, you're going to look at your detailed report that you get and you're going to look at how well you did in each, each section. This is going to tell you where you struggle at and what you need to be studying on. Okay, for instance, say that math was the area that you struggled in and it breaks it down for you. You didn't do good in fractions or ratios or conversions. So this is where you've really got to study because this is going to be on the exam. So what you want to do is you want to start reading in your manual the area that you did the worst in. So it was math. So you're going to open the section to math and you're going to start reading this whole section dedicated to math. And you're going to be concentrating on fractions, ratios, and conversions. And what you're going to do is you're going to read about it. They're going to show you how to do them. Then you're going to practice the practice questions in the manual and to help you further go online, try to find free quizzes on how to solve ratios and fractions, conversions, and even go to YouTube and find teaching tutorials of people showing you how to do this. Because this is going to help crystallize in your mind and formulate how to solve these types of problems. Then you're going to repeat this for all the other sections for reading, for English, everything. And you're going to be looking at what you didn't do good in. You're going to be concentrating on that. But you're also going to be reading everything else and you're going to do that until you have read the cover. It's, it's a little thin manual from front to back. And you've done all the practice questions. And make sure that you've brushed up on everything. And while you're reading this manual, make sure that you're paying attention to any bold words, bolded areas, diagrams, and charts. Because these are areas that are going to probably for sure be on the exam. Okay, after you do that... Then you're going to go back and you're going to take, retake the online practice test again and see how your scores have improved. And this is, again, going to help you pacing your time, make sure you're able to answer, answer all those questions. So that is how you study for the ATITs exam. Now, if you're really super worried about this exam, you want more practice questions, more reviewing, there is another book that I recommend that's really good. It's called The Secrets of the TSV Exam. 
um, you can get that as well. And that article that I was talking about at the beginning um, on my website also shows you that book and talks about that book. So that is how you prep for the ATITs exam. I wish you the best on this exam and thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.